And away from politics, a U.S. drug trial involving cancer patients has reportedly recorded 100% success. The patients had rectal cancer, a type of cancer that begins in the rectum, which is the lower end of the large intestine. According to a study published in the New England Journal of Medicine, the trial consisted of 12 patients, all of whom entered remission after taking the drug, dostalimab, over a six-month period. Well, for more on this breakthrough, Dr. Okoro Uchenna, consultant clinical oncologist at Evercare Hospital, joins us now. Thank you so much for joining us, Doctor. Now, first of all, let's just start with this um, new wonder drug, as I'd like to call it. What do you make of you know, this new discovery, and what does this mean, really, in the treatment for cancer, especially here in Nigeria? Um. I mean, the discovery of uh, the use of uh, dostalimab is, is really causing a, a lot of, uh, you know, positive energy in the oncology space. Uh, this is the first time that we're having uh, a drug that is almost capable of curing cancer, as, as it were. Uh, initially, this drug was actually designed and uh, approved by the FDA in 2021. And... Uh, was generally um, used for um, solid tumors that have a, a specific uh, genetic deficiency, which we call uh, DNA mismatch repair. So um, a group of scientists uh, from the uh, Memorial Sloan Kettering Institute in, in New York, I thought about using this drug for um, another group of malignancies, this time rectal cancer. Uh, for patients that have um, what we describe as locally advanced disease. That means uh, cancer that is still within the, the rectum and the immediate periphery, but uh, hasn't spread to other organs. And uh, just like you rightly said, um, it's still a phase two trial, uh, 12 patients, uh, complete remission uh, after six months of treatment, uh, 25 months after, no sign of any form of recurrence. So uh, this is great news. This is, this is absolutely wonderful news for, you know, loads of patients out there that have been battling with this condition. And, and again, one must remember that one of the biggest problems in managing uh, rectal cancer is most of these patients will have to go through chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and subsequently go on to have surgery. So this completely eliminates most of the side effects that come with uh, treatment, with, uh, the, the way we normally do it. So, so this is absolutely great news. Well, indeed. But this was a trial of 12. Is it enough to make any conclusive statement? Uh, should we be jubilating just yet? And when it comes to the likely implications for cancer treatment here in Nigeria, uh, do we have any idea of how much as this drug may cost when it goes to the market? Because cancer is not only dreadful, it is expensive to treat. Well, uh, uh, dostalimab uh, uh, has actually been there for, I mean, for about a year now. And um, even though this trial, like I said, is a phase two trial, so normally when you want to do trials at this level, it's not going to be a large population. I think the, the final endpoint is going to be up to 30 patients. And um, if we're almost at the halfway mark when it comes to the number of patients and we're having every single patient uh, having complete um, remission, that is, there is no evidence of disease recurrence. It is something to celebrate. But, you know, just like you rightly said, it may be too early for us to, um, to sound very uh, happy about it, even though it, it's a good news. Hopefully, uh, we hope that these results are sustained for the remaining 30 patients. And hopefully, when this um, goes on to a phase three trial, uh, when you have more patients being enrolled, that we're going to be having similar results. Again, I mean, uh, this drug is not going to be cheap even for patients that are in the United States where it was developed. Uh, currently, uh, dostalimab is going to cost about 11,000 US dollars for every, every dose. And uh, a dose is uh, every three weeks. And this drug is given for up to six months. So, so one needs to understand that, you know, this is a novel drug. 
it's there's a lot of R and D research and development that went into its design. Uh, even if it's made available now, access may be a problem, affordability may be a problem, especially for for those of us in this part of the world. But I mean, it, it's something to look forward to. Uh, hopefully, with time, when we have other um, companies uh, going to it, going to this space, then um, I mean, we can talk about some form of price reduction. But for now, it's going to be a very expensive treatment, especially you know when patients don't have insurance and if they have to pay out of pocket. Well, Dr. Chen, just before I let you go, just squeeze in one question there. Um, can this, is this, this treatment strictly for the early stages of cancer, can it address the cancer that is actually spread over time, in a nutshell? Well, for, 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 for this research that was done, it was um, just for patients with locally advanced disease. So for patients with metastatic disease, we are not sure what the effect will be, I guess, uh, probably with subsequent trials that will be established. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Okorochina, their consultant and clinical oncologist. Thank you.